स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स सब्जेक्ट हिस्ट्री लेसन नंबर फोर द वैदिक सिविलाइजेशन वैदिक सिविलाइजेशन इंट्रोडक्शन ओ ऑल माइटी ब्लेस विथ प्लेंटी ऑफ रेन मे अवर फील्ड्स हैव प्लेंटी फुल ऑफ क्रॉप्स प्रोवाइड अवर चिल्ड्रन विथ प्लेंटी ऑफ मिल्क Let the cows come to our home let them live in their cow shed happily may there be many cows o oh people wake up the darkness has vanished and sunlight has entered the dawn has awakened the entire world let us pursue our own occupations and earn wealth these three sentences which i just said are not ordinary sentences but this is a english translation of some sanskrit suktas or helms from vedas it would be interesting for us to learn about vedas and its other features because vedas are important part of indian literature family system we are born in a family and grow in it our parents siblings and other relatives together form our family members of our family are bonded by the feelings like love affection and attachment now we will learn about the family system during the vedic period the system of joint family was prevalent during the vedic period the family system was patriarchal the man responsible for the family was the head of the family that is grihapatil his family included his old parents wife children and their families his younger brother and their families there are references of women scholars like lopa mudra gargi vaidehi in the vedic literature however slowly the restrictions on the women went on increasing and the position of women in the family as well as society became secondary now let us learn how the houses in the vedic period were constructed the houses of vedic period peoples were made by using mud or wattle and daub wattle means weaving lattice of wooden strips and then plastering it with mud and cow dung the floor of the house during vedic period used to be daubed by cow dung and mud the house was called as griha or shala we have learnt about the houses of the vedic period now let us get some information about their diet the diet of the vedic period included mainly the cereals like wheat barley and rice they made various preparations from these cereals in vedic literature the words like yava godhum and vrihi are used for for the grains of these words the yava means barley godhum means wheat and vrihi is a rice the vedic people relished curd milk butter and honey along with the lentils black gram and sesame meat was also included in their diet the clothing pattern followed by the people becomes the identity of their society and culture now let us learn about the clothing during the vedic period people during vedic period used cotton and woolen clothes apart from these the skin of animals were also used as clothing both men and women used flower garlands and necklaces of various types of beads and gold ornaments to enhance their beauty an ornament called nishka which means pendant seems to have been more popular this pendant nishka was used as currency thank you